Tara Molina is live from Crocker and Detroit with the latest for us. And Tara, this intersection is partially reopened, but this is still a very, very active scene out there. Totally right, Dominique. Very active scene. Two northbound lanes have actually opened up on Crocker, but BCI and Westlake Police are still out here investigating. They've been out here all day long, so a very active scene. And again, some of those roads still are closed off. That's important to note. But just to give you some background in case you're just now tuning in, Devin Disnoyers robbed the CVS down the street on Detroit, then sped off in the white Mazda you see here. He crashed at Detroit and Crocker, and according to Westlake Police, struck an officer's vehicle. That's when shots were fired. It's unclear if the man fired or just police, but Westlake Police say a weapon or a very realistic looking weapon has been recovered from Desnoyer's car. We know two officers fired weapons in this incident, and while Cruz made life-saving attempts at the scene, he was pronounced dead at the hospital. Those officers involved in the shooting have been placed on administrative leave, but right now officials say their use of force was justified. We actually just talked to Westlake Police. We'll have to show you that sound a little bit later tonight, but Captain Guy Turner told us Des Neuer's may have been connected to several other robberies in the area. The Cleveland FBI are saying the same thing. Now, if you're a West Sider, if you live in Westlake and you're headed out from work or you're headed out somewhere tonight, this area is still a very active scene. Again, so if you can avoid the Crocker Park area, the Detroit area, it's best to do so. Officials right now are saying to use other routes like Columbia, maybe Lear. So again, if you can avoid Crocker Park, this investigation's ongoing. Police should be here for the next couple of hours. You can stick with News 5. We're going to keep gathering more information and we'll keep bringing you guys the very latest. Live in Westlake, Tara Molina, News 5.